Good evening and welcome to Golden Lion Basketball here from the campus of the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. UAPB Golden Lions and the Prairie View A&M Panthers. I'm Tim Stubbs along with Carl Wimper here this evening, courtside from H.O. Clemens Arena. Well, Carl, here we are. A rematch, these two teams hooked up there in Prairie View, and Prairie View got the best of the Golden Lions, but UAPB looking to even things up here tonight as the starting lineups are being unveiled as we speak. But the Golden Lions have been playing much better over the past couple of weeks. Well, they certainly have, but that first game when UAPB lost down in, in Prairie View, Texas, 71-62, Montreal Scott, I tell you what, Tim, this young man, he's a guard for Prairie View. He, he, he put through 23 points, and that's uh, carried the victory. But however, since that time, the Golden Lions pretty much been on the road, and it's been led by Marcel Mosley and, and, and Kevin Hammond, the two guards. Yeah, Mos Mosley has has been spectacular. Yeah. And it's all about staying healthy for him. And this season he's been healthy, he's been just terrific. So it's good to see Davon Haynes not have his hand and wrist wrapped up as he had to play the whole last homestand with that. So we'll see if we can get him going tonight. Of course, the other big man, Daniel Broughton. Well, one thing with Giovanni Robinson. Sorry, Tim, one thing for the Golden Lions, I'll tell you what. The bench has really come through here lately, and they've been getting great production off that bench, and that's, that's been able to start as you get some, get some rest throughout the course of the game and, and not letting the slack fall through once the reserves come in. So Davon Haynes, Daniel Broughton, Tevin Hammond, Giovanni Robinson, you're starting five here tonight. As you know that Coach Ivory is going to play several, several players. He likes to dig in and he'll usually about have about his eight or nine that he'll rotate, but if they're not playing up to where he thinks they should be, then you know that he's gonna bring in a new five quickly, and he did that on the last homestand after the first two minutes. Oh, without a doubt, he's not afraid to go to that bench. And like I said, he's getting some good point production off that bench when those guys come in. Here's the opening tip tonight, and it's gonna go to Prairie View and their black jerseys with their purple trim, and it says The View on the front, of course, for Prairie View. UAPB in their home golds and black. Yeah. And near still coming right at you, Carl, as it's Knocked out of bounds by Hammond. It's going to stay with Prairie View with 22 on the shot clock, just 13 seconds in, no score. Well, Tim, when you look around the country, basketball and football, teams are going with colors of uniforms that's not really their, their, their team colors. Prairie View is, is purple and, and gold, but they're mixing that black in. Strong drive. Ago kicks it out. Open three is no good by Montreal Scott. You mentioned him as a good shooter out of Dallas. He misses that one. Hammond will bring it up. No pressure. Top of the key, they're working around. Robinson. Out of Mosley. 15 on the shot clock. It's on defense here by Prairie View. Here's Mosley. Picks up his dribble out of Haynes. Just inside the three-point line. His jumper's in and out, no good. Rebound by Hershey Robinson. In transition, rejected by Haynes as Haygood tried to go all the way and Haynes erases it. Well, Haynes probably far team is perhaps the best jumper in his ball club. Shaking that right hand there too. He's very athletic, very lean, and just a good looking ball player. Here's Mosley, ball fake. Kick out, Robinson spots up for three. Yes, sir, Robinson. Giovanni Robinson. He's a young man that's out of Italy, Mississippi that's really just, uh, uh, he averaged about over 20 points a ball game as a high school senior. He can just flat out shoot the basketball. Three nothing our score, Robinson. Now down low, maybe getting away with a walk there. The big fella, Robinson. But nevertheless, UAPB comes away with it. In transition, Mosley 
Thought about the three, now inside. Broughton can't handle the pass, stolen away. One thing you don't want to do is throw the ball to a big man down, to, down towards his feet. I'll set it up, Haygood. Haygood holds it out high, picked up by Mosley. Now to Briscoe. Down low to Robinson, double teamed, and just stolen away. Taken away by Daniel Broughton here. In transition, Robinson to Haynes. In the corner, Mosley's jumper is no good, but he draws the foul. And I believe he's going to have three free throws coming up here. That's one thing you don't want to do. You don't want to foul a, a jump shooter, especially if he's behind the arch, because what you're going to do is going to Alec Madison give him three shots at, at, at the free throw line to, to knock in three points. Moses, a young man that's out of Marion High School, a junior. He was an all, he was an all state performer for Coach Clay with the Marion Patriots. And that's what happens. Moses just knocks down three free throws. While I was away, three free throws are good. Taking care of some courtside uh, technical difficulties here. Three-point shot up, no good. That was John Briscoe, a junior out of Longview, Texas, with the miss. And he's trying to come up with his steal here. Hammond was back here on the other end. It's going to be Hammond's going to inbound it for the Golden Lions. 17-12 to play. Just underway, 6-0 UAPB. A three-point shot by Giovanni Robinson, and then three free throws made by Marcel Mosley. Here's the inbound to Mosley. In the corner, Robinson spots up for three, this time too strong. And the rebound is taken by Trey Haygood. In transition, Briscoe off the glass, no good. Haynes snatches the one-handed rebound. They'll push it ahead. Hammond slows it up. They'll set up their offense while Prairie View will get into their zone here. Still on the bounce, Hammond, double screen to Broughton. Now Haynes on the block, strong drive, hangs in the air, misses it, tipped out, and here comes Prairie View in transition. Haygood now down low off the glass and scoring it inside is Demontre Chapman. First two of the game for Prairie View, 6-2 to two UAPB with a four-point lead. Well, Chapman's very athletic, 6'7", 200 pounds out of Flint, Michigan, he's a senior. Backdoor lob, and Haynes misses it. They get it back, and Broughton scores inside. You know, Haynes would like to have that one back. Still get the feeling he's not 100% with that hand. No, he, he's really not. Chapman on the block, dangerous pass. Jenkins gets it out. Pass deflected and stolen away here, mostly. In transition, nice take. Gets the shot blocked, however, in the lane. Loose on the floor and tie-up situation, maybe? No? Yes? Let's see. They let them scrum for it for a while there, alternating possession. It's going to stay with UAPB. We got our first media timeout. Fast start to this one. 15.38 remaining first half UAPB 8, Prairie View 2, right back in a moment. You take care of us. Now it's our turn to take care of you. You know me, I'm the one who loves treats. And you pet me and you care for me. And you taught us to roll, to catch and sit. That takes a lot of work, so you better stay fit. So sign up today, enroll. Enroll. Every budget, so don't accept defeat. Now you can get covered and still buy me treats. Enroll today. That's what we're here to do. A new world of healthcare is here to stay. Do something for those who care about you. Enroll today. 1538 remaining here in early first half. Tim Stubbs, Carl Wimper. And a good start. 
for the Golden Lions, leading 8-2. to two. Prairie View will uh, inbound it or no? It should be UAPB basketball right before the media timeout. <laughs> they had what? a tie-up situation. Well, Coach Albert's going to his bench already, brought in Whiting and, and Jalen Floyd. Here's the inbound to Robinson. Hammond, little ball fake, kicks it out. Mosley, wide open three, too strong. And keeping it alive, coming right at us here. And Hammond got a hand on it, and last touch by Scott. So UAPB will get it back. Robinson will inbound it. It's Hammond. Keep keeping it alive. Yeah, the goal announced they've gone somewhat smaller on the in, on the in, the in the front court. Hammond's pass deflected, but he gets it back. Mosley spots up for three again. Top of the key, rims out, no good. Whiting the rebound. Needs some help. Gets it deflected. <laughs> he wanted a foul call, no call. Flashing for it. Step back jumper just outside of the free throw line. No good by Hammond. Then Mosley had the rebound but lost it. Here's Scott, gets hacked from behind, no call, and then out of bounds off the of UAPB. It looked like he was off bounds on they're, they're letting them, uh, <laughs> they're letting them play. Both, both sides, a lot of contact, no call. Scott with the inbound, they'll set it up. Trey Haygood, junior out of Pensacola, Florida. Out of Monks. They're working around back towards the left side of the floor. 15 on the shot clock. Trying to dump it down low is Jenkins, and Jenkins gets it to DeMontre Chapman, who kisses it off the glass. He's got all four points so far for the view. Well, Chapman's average is about 12 and a half a point the ball game. There's Mosley. Splits a double team to Floyd. He goes up to slam at home, and he's fouled. And that's Mosley right there just creating... He's so silky smooth with his handles, and he, he's deceivingly quick. Yeah, that's the time there, Tim, when Floyd got the basketball. He really should have gone straight up and just slammed it, but he put it on the floor to, to bounce it once, and that's when the defender came over and did and made the foul. In the case like that, when you get it down low like that, take it to the hoop. Yeah, how about banking in the free throw? <laughs> whatever, and whatever works, right? Yeah. <laughs> the southpaw. He's a walker out of Chicago and. And misses the second up high for the rebound was Monks. Nine to four, UAPB leads by five. Nearly six minutes into the first half here. And both teams playing a zone defense. Third good, or hey good rather. Good hands and a strip. I believe that was Hammond. Here's Robinson, turn, spins, the kick out. Mosley wanted the three, but then he thinks better of it. Now to Hammond, cross court to Mosley. In the corner, Whiting with the nice dribble drive. Good ball reversal, wide open, look for three. Hammond knocks it in. Good motion off this team. That time the goal lines passed the basketball six times before Hammond took the shot. Great motion offense. 12-4 and make it 12-6. As the bank shot is good from 15 off the left wing by Montreal Scott. Here's Hammond, top of the key. Dribble drive in the lane, kicks it out. Robinson, the Prairie View, they get right up in you they defensively. Really in that zone, they love to trap out of it. Hammond wide open three again. This time he was fading to the right a little bit, missed it. Robinson kept it alive and throws it right to Scott. Scott pushes it up left side of the floor now. Hey, good in the lane, trying to get it to Chapman and deflected and stolen away by Whiting. In transition now, Mosley, the kick out. Robinson for three, no good. Fast and furious, nobody scoring. On the other end, hey, good. Off the glass, no good, but Chapman's there to clean it up and get the basket. A lot of contact yeah. underneath there. <laughs> and letting them play. And a whole slew of gold lions set to check in here in a moment. Broughton, Haynes, and Savage set to check in on the next dead ball. Here's Hammond, left side to Robinson. Now Whiting passes up the three, back to Robinson. Hammond loses it, gets it back. 
Underneath, Whiting scores inside. Nice pass by Hammond, and Whiting knew what to do with it. Yeah, Whiting has tremendous uh, strength on the inside, and he's a very good jumper, too. In and out, no good by Rossi Jenkins. UAPB coming the other way with it. And again, letting them play. Going to stay out of bounds off of Prairie View, and we'll keep it. Nope, going to media timeout. 11.53 remaining first half, UAPB 14, Prairie View 8, right back in a moment. Hello, my name is Latasha Cole, recent graduate of the University of Arkansas in Pine Bluff with a degree in Regulatory Science, Industrial Health and Safety. I thought I'd be looking for a job right now, but with the help of my mentor, Alicia Farmer, in career services, I was able to land a position as a C quality supervisor after training. As a single mother, Latasha's motivation and determination helped her to earn two internships while on campus. UAPB can help prepare students like Latasha for the same opportunities. UAPB prepared me. Hey everybody! Heart disease affects one in every three women in America, but you can fight back. There's no time to lose. Mothers, sisters, daughters, families, and friends, it's time to shout louder, stand stronger, and demand change. Let's go! To the Batmobile! Dang it. To the invisible jet! Dang it. Together, we can put an end to heart disease. It's time to go red for women. I could use your help. Yeah! Learn more from the American Heart Association at www.goredforwomen.org. 11.53 to go. Fast-moving first half here. 14 to 8. Golden Lions up by 6. Off to a pretty good start here tonight. And Chandler Savage just checking into the ball game. He'll inbound it, along with Mosley, Hammond, Broughton, and Haynes. Yeah, Chandler's a young man out of Pine Bluff High School and very good defender. Here's Hammond, top of the key, as Briscoe gets right up in his T-shirt. Ham, nice pass to Broughton, hits the 10-footer in the lane. That's that sweet spot for Broughton. Daniel's really worked on that jumper. He, he's good from anywhere from 15 feet on in. Turning and spinning, kicking it out. Monks for three, got it. Lewis Monks, senior guard out of Arlington, Texas, hits the three. 16 to 11, five point lead. Haynes to Savage, Savage in the lane, a little floater and no good. A little too strong on that one, we'll kick it ahead, Briscoe. In the lane, Briscoe gets it to go. A little five nothing spurt here, and Prairie View within three. 16-13. Here's Savage, cross court pass, dangerous, but Hammond's got it to kick out. Haynes, 15 footer, no good. Long rebound, Monks trying to chase it down, but there's no need because it's going to be Prairie View ball. You know, Tim, the Golden Lions, they got to a fast start. It seemed like over the last oh, 60 to 85 seconds, they kind of go into a slow mode. Here's a 17-footer in and out. No good from the right side of the floor by Robinson. UAPB's got it coming the other way. Hammond hands it off to Mosley, and they'll set it up. Ten minutes to play first half. UAPB leading by three. 16-13. Here's Mosley. He'll take the three and hits. Yes. Mosley knocks in another three, and he's become a much more confident shooter this he, year. He really has, Tim. And this is how he played as a senior for, for Marion High School. He, he was an absolute. He's, like I said, he was an all-state performer. In the lane, trying to hang and hit was Monks. He's too strong off the glass. Here comes Savage. He'll push it ahead, right side of the floor. Still on the bounce here. Picks up his dribble now. Hammond in the corner, inside to Broughton. He had a mismatch, but he'll kick it out to Savage. Mosley, he'll spot up for three again. He's hit again, and he scores again, and a chance for a four-point play. That's the second time this season he's done that here at home. Yeah, I said he again. He kind of baited him into it. Yeah, I said again, you don't ever want to shoot a foul a jump shooter. And that's the second time he's been fouled on a three. Yeah. Now he hit the three, so he gets a chance for a four-point play, but Mosley's already got nine here. He can, he can rack up 
Seven points on two shots. That's right. On two fouls, rather. Two possessions here. But 22-13, the lead at nine, the largest so far for UAPB. 9-24 to play. And Mosley misses the free throw. That one rimmed out on him. It's too close to the basket. Rise and fire off to the left there by Hershey Robinson. Well, that's a great basketball name, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Kind of sounds like a, a throwback. Hershey. Yeah. Fouls on Broughton on the rebound. Tell you what, the officials are letting them play, but that foul there, I don't know. And here's Robinson again, misses again, and long rebound chased down by Mosley. He'll push it ahead. Mosley, little hesitation dribbled, kick out to Savage. Right side Hammond, knifes his way in the lane, the kick out. Savage passes up the three. And a bad pass stolen away, Monks, he wants to throw it down and he's fouled on the way to the basket. Savage chased him from behind and two free throws coming up. Yeah, Savage just really telegraphed that pass there and didn't really put any, any muscles on, on, on the pass. Kind of like a, a lame duck out there, just kind of a floater. Yeah. Good anticipation by Monks, good looking athlete. 8.51 to play. And he's short on the first one. A new yeah. crew here tonight. I haven't seen this crew here as a collective unit. And he gets the second to go down. 22-14, UAPB with the ball, up by eight. Here's Mosley at midcourt. Little crossover in the lane, pull up, 12-footer, no good. Battle for the rebound, lost out by Prairie View. Off of Scott, Savage will inbound it as Robinson's trying to get in here. I don't know if they see him. He's gonna have to wait. Throw it in the backcourt. Hammond will bring it across midcourt. Still working right side. High screen coming here from Broughton. Savage in the corner. Cross court pass. Wide open three. Hammond got it. Hammond knocks in the three and he's got a couple of triples. He's got six. Until UAPB has perhaps two of the better shooting guards in, in the swag. Mosley and Hammond are terrific shooting guards. 25 14, UAPB by 11. Monk's trying to dump it down low and Stolen away by Savage. Good hands by Hammond. Here's Mosley. Last second drop off. Haynes underneath gets it to go. Very smart. He, he wants to go to the right side, but reversed and went to the left and used the rim as a, as a defender. Lead Good up to move by, by Haynes. Haynes. Spinning in the lane, going over the left hand is Chapman. He's fouled. He'll shoot two. And it's going to bring us to another media timeout here, but the Golden Lions are lighting it up from the perimeter. UAPB leads as we go to break. 7.39 to go before halftime. 27-14, UAPB by 13 over Prairie View. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything... It is I. Cruz, zinc or bell? Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always worth it. I know it's really you, bro. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Oh! Checking your fantasy league? Nah, just my 401k statement. Hmm. Nice, where'd you find the money for that? I've just been saving a little every month. <laughs> I can't seem to save anything. Well, what about all this? What about the money you're spending? <laughs> what money? It's gone before I can get my hands on it. I got a pizza for a uh, Todd. Hey, can somebody spot me? When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. It's 547. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. See if they can sustain it. Like you said, they've been building big leads, but then they have been giving them up also. 
DeAndre Chapman at the foul line for two shots here as we resume play. It's good to see among the crowd that remember that 2010 NCAA yeah. basketball team. Is it George David? Yeah, George David, the garbage man we used to call him. Yeah. Of course, Terrence Calvin over there and still see Alan Smith a lot. Terrell Kennedy, we've seen a lot of them back uh, here this year. A small Terrell Kennedy. Yeah, he lost a lot of weight. No good on the free throw, but Monks pulls down the rebound. So Chapman makes one of two. And it's 27-15. Prairie View with the ball down 12. Chapman cross-court pass. Scott rise and fire, misses badly on the three, off the glass and out of bounds. Did not hit rim. I tell you what, Tim, I look at number, number zero, Andre Adams out there. Look, he has a ski suit on. <laughs> Got the high, the high socks. I guess they're socks. I don't know. Almost like some biker tights or something. I don't know what he's got on, but I guess it's fashionable. And he'll get a five-second call. Mosley didn't realize it, but whatever it is. Right, a quick five seconds, though. Andre Adams out of Cypress, Texas. Got the five-second call on him. Hey, good. Nice pass down low. Scott off the glass. No good, but Chapman again with one of those garbage bucket <laughs> plays there. Gets the stick back the second time he's done that. He's got nine of their 17. UAPB by 10 with the ball, 27-17. Preview's on the 4-0 run. Here's Mosley. Needs some help. Gets it down low to Haynes and then stolen away. But on the baseline was Trey Haygood. So UAPD will get it back here. Yeah, this Coach Ivory sitting back in, Tevin Hammonds, taking out Savage. You know, Hammond is a, is a true point guard in this ball club. He, he's the guy that, 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 that stirs the Kool-Aid. The Reggie Jackson, the straw yeah. that serves the drink, right? Yep. <laughs> you got in trouble for saying that. <laughs> Here's Broughton, step back, 15-footer, no good. Hey, good, up high for the rebound. He wants to push it ahead and transition to Chapman. Little Euro step off the glass for the left hand, no good. Hey, good, gets it back. And mostly thought he was going to get a foul called on him, and hey, good, hit the floor, but they just play yeah. on, right? It looks like Mosley bumped him a little bit. <laughs> yeah, there was some. This is good playground ball here, and a steal by Mosley. See if he wants to split the double team again. Deflected, no call. Robinson, he'll take the three. Too strong. Haynes trying for the rebound, loses it out of bounds off of Chapman, I believe. It's been a fast-moving first half. We've only had seven fouls called, and it's because they're letting them play. I, I like it, though. Yeah, I like it, too, without it's, a doubt. It's flying by. It's a good flow to the game. 27-17, five and a half to go before halftime. UAPB up by 10 with the ball. It's Trent Whiting is back in. Here's Mosley. Pull up. 15-footer no good, and... Broughton, the rebound, throws it down, but they're going to wave it off and call a foul on UAPB, trying to clear out on the rebound. They're going to get Big Daniel, and that's his second, so let's keep an eye on that, and quickly up off the bench is Sean Tingle, the Big Easy. Adams, now Scott to Monks, turnaround 17-footer, no good. Hammond... Clears the rebound, uncontested. Picks up his dribble, right side to Mosley. Yeah, the goal line's been stuck on that 27 for, for about a minute and a half here. Daniel wanted the ball down there working on Chapman. But they didn't see him. Behind the back dribble, Mosley. Picks up his dribble, needs some help. Needs some help. Finally Whiting with the relief. Robinson. And good defense by Prairie View. They come up with a steal. Two on one break here. Monk goes up, scores it inside, and the assist by Scott, and it's an eight-point game. Yeah, Coach, I was going to, he's going to take a timeout. It's a good timeout because Prairie View's on this little 6-0 run. Timeout called 
by George Ivory. We'll keep it here. 4.29 to go before halftime, and the Golden Lions leading 27-19. Something about momentum shifts in the ball game. Uh, UAPB jumped out to about the 14-point lead. Looked comfortable. Had a few missed shots, and, and Purview got right back in it, and now it's... Uh, It's gotten a little bit closer for pair of you. That was a time out there where I see Tingles in the ball game for the Golden Lions and uh, the big junior college transfer. But that was a time out there, Tim, that Coach Ivory just wanted to have a word with his ball club. Savage will inbound it to Hammond. You got Whiting, Robinson, and Tingle just in the ball game as well. Here's Hammond. Top of the key, now picks up his dribble. Boy, I tell you what, they will guard you. Yeah, they will. They get right up in you on this zone defense. Here's Robinson, dribble drive in the lane. Stripped and a foul call. Two shots coming up here for Giovanni Robinson. <laughs> Robinson got lucky that time. I don't know if he was really going up for a shot, but he was trying to penetrate through the lane and going up and got slapped on the hand. Well, he'll get two free throws. It was on Scott, and that's his second. Just the fifth team foul. I didn't want to jinx him, but Robinson is a 78% free throw shooter, one of the better free throw shooters on the ball club. And they missed both of them. Wow. You don't normally see that. Nope. Four minutes left, first half. UAPB by eight. Prairie View with the ball here. Kick out to Monks. Ball reversal. They'll get it back top of the key to Adams. Now Monks again. 12 on the shot clock here. Monks pull up, 18-footer. Rims out, no good. Tingle the rebound. Head to Robinson, right side of the floor. Hammond holds it out high, looking for a screen from Tingle. Now they'll back off and reset it. Here's Hammond, wants to go one-on-one. -on -one. Now he'll hand it off, a little motion offense here. Whiting to Savage, looking down low to Tingle, nothing there. Eight to shoot. Nice crossover, Savage. Strong drive, but again, nowhere to go. Robinson rising fire from 25. No good offensive rebound by Whiting. They'll have another crack at it. Three minutes to go before halftime. Here's Hammond in the lane. Jump stop to Robinson and a charge or a block. They're gonna call the block and did they count the basket also? He made the motion of the basket, but uh, I'm going to say that was some serious continuation there. I think he's got free throws coming up. We have a media timeout here. 2.54 to go before halftime. UAPB leading Prairie View 27-19. Right back in a moment. You don't need health insurance if you have enough good luck charms. Not always lucky? Then you need health insurance. Find affordable, quality health plans at the Health Insurance Marketplace. Enroll now at the Health Insurance Marketplace at healthcare.gov. Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there? What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs, just more stuff? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? That can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. 
And isn't that worth parting with the leftover keytar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff. Create jobs. Two fifty-four remaining before halftime. And uh, looks like they added that basket there, Carl. It was 27-19 out. It was 29-19. And I saw the official signal count the basket, but it was like an NBA continuation there. And I'm I'm sure that you can see Byron Rim right now. He's asking about that bucket because it did seem like a a pretty long uh, continuation there, but Robinson's going to get a chance for a three-point play here. One it was like an NBA continuation. They've been letting them play, no doubt. Free throw's good, so Robinson, he's got six now, and the lead back up to 11. 30 to 19, UAPB. 2.45 to go before halftime. Adams, so working around. Monks now, left side of the floor. Robinson needs some help. Nearly got trapped by Whiting and Hammond there, but they get it back to the right side of the floor. Nice pass by Adams down low. Chapman is fouled by Tingle. <laughs> wow. Didn't see that one, Tim. Tingle is really just, he gets the wrong place at the wrong time. Number double zero, Sean Tingle. That will be his first personal 15 foul. Tingle has started to come alive last few ball games. Able to give some relief to Broughton and, and Haynes still nursing that injury to his right hand. First free throw no good by Chapman. He's got one more coming up here. Well, Tingle is only averaging about two and a half points, but he's getting some value of playing time and he's giving Broughton time to, to rest. Chapman missed both free throws. UAPB with the ball up 11. Here's Tingle. Got some space here to work with, but then loses it. Gets it back on the floor and then loses it again. A little mighty mouse here. Takes off with it and the throw down. Or we're going to have a basket interference on Chapman as the ball was on the rim when he threw it down. But... <laughs> Byron Rim is telling him it was off the rim, but I'm not going to win that <laughs> argument. <laughs> Two minutes to go. Gold lines with the ball up 11. Here's Hammond for three. Top of the key, no good. And Adams the rebound for Prairie View. They'll push it ahead. Now he'll back it off, work it left side to Monk. Monks, rather. With an S. They take their time. 15 on the shot clock, 90 seconds left in the half. Here's Monks. Knifes his way in the lane, gets it to Chapman. Nice block by a Whiting, but they get the foul oh, wow. called. And maybe that was a makeup call or something because Byron Rim has been working the officials like crazy. And that was a pretty good block there by Trent. Yeah, Trent Whitey looked like it was, it was all ball. I mean, compared to what they've let go. Yeah. That was, that was pretty clean. So Chapman just missed his last two free throws. He does make this one. Entering for the Golden Lions, number three, Davon Haynes, and number one, Marcel Mosley. One shot remaining. 30 to 20. UAPB by 10, 123 to go before halftime. Second shot, no good. Whiting the rebound. Left side of the floor, here comes Hammond. Still holds his dribble, takes his time, gets instruction from Coach Ivory as they set up their offense here. Hammond with the take right side. Now he'll kick it out to Mosley, 15 to shoot. Here's Whiting as he had Hershey Robinson all over him and it's going to be a one and one coming up here finally with one yeah. minute left our seems first one and one yeah. seems like Tim though the, the last couple of minutes or so the officials have been calling it pretty tight a little bit tighter yeah they have yeah. a southpaw nothing but net for Whiting Jordan Brown is coming in the ball game young man Walsall from yes. Augusta 
Good looking athlete. I like his game. Yeah. He's also like a, a fan pleaser too. Oh yeah. yeah. He, a lot of energy, can get up and throw it down, and the crowd loves that. That's kind of the way Whiting is as well. Missed the second free throw, one of two for Trent. Lead up to 11. Rise and fire, Monks for three, no good. Haynes the rebound, ahead to Hammond. The lob back door, and we were just talking about it, but it was behind him a little too much, and he couldn't handle the pass that time, yeah. Jordan Brown, but... You can see they have a lot of confidence yeah, in it. Yeah, they have a lot of confidence in it. And the play was really set up. 40 seconds left. Chapman to kick out to Monks. Pull up. 18-footer, no good. Haynes, the rebound. Holds his dribble. Now he'll hand it off to Hammond. And the Golden Lions can hold for the final shot here if they want to do so as the shot clock and game clock are almost in unison. Hammond still with the bounce. Now to Whiting. Whiting, nice take in the lane. Goes up with a little floater and scores it. Nice take. Lead at 13 now for the Golden Lions. Here's Adams. Nearly loses it. Ball on the floor. And Brown's got it. Trying to throw it ahead, but it was deflected. And that's going to be halftime. 33-20, the Golden Lions close out the half on a little run, and they will take a 13-point lead over Prairie View at halftime. They said I couldn't dream. Called me a piece of trash and swore that's all I'd ever be. Said a bottle couldn't see the ocean. Give up. Go back to the dumpster. But I didn't listen. I made my way. And now, I am what I've always wanted to be. Magic Johnson. The good news is now you can finally get the health insurance you need. You can just go online to the new health insurance marketplace. You can do side-by-side -side comparisons of brand name plans and choose the one that's right for you. Find out how you can get lower monthly payments as part of the health care law. It might sound like <laughs> magic, but take my word for it, it's real. Protect your health. Enroll today. All right, as we start the second half of play here, Tim Stubbs, Carl Wimper. Carl, 13-point lead for the Golden Lions as we start the second half here, but a, a pretty nice first half for UAPB to build that 13-point lead. They come up with a steal here right off the bat. Davon Haynes, a spin move, and gets it blocked from behind in transition, but the Golden Lions off to a good start here in the second half as well. Well, I'll tell you what, Purview shot Harbor in the first half, only 29.6% from the floor. They only made 8 of 29, 27 shots. 33-20, UAPB by 13, 30 seconds into the second half here. Haynes, a little pass on the cut there to Hammond, but Hammond couldn't handle it and loses it out of bounds. So Prairie View will get it back. Scott with the basketball, holding it out high here. Almost a steal by Tevin Hammond. He's averaging two and a half steals per ball game. Briscoe, almost a steal there by Haynes. In the lane, tipped around, now stolen by Broughton. Good yeah. hands again by Hammond. Hammond's one of the top thieves in the, <laughs> in the conference. In terms of still in the basketball. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I understand. Yeah, he's one of the top thieves. <laughs> I got you. Here's Broughton. Step back jumper is no good. It was on the mark, just spun out on him. A long two there. 
Here's Haygood. Kicks it back out. Strong move in the lane, up with the right hand, off the glass, no good. DeAndre Chapman there again to clean it up. That was Chapman's 12th point. He's got 12 of their 22, and six of those are on putbacks. 33-22, yeah. 11-point lead for the Golden Lions with the ball. Hammond to Robinson, a little floater in the lane, rims out, no good. And a great look at it, just didn't go down. Here's Briscoe. Trapped, now kicks it out. Haygood spots up for three, too strong. Chapman again, another offensive rebound, and a foul is going to be on Broughton. That's going to be his third. Tingle already about to take off the warm-up. Yeah, Fredview's coming out a little a, a more aggressive here to start the third quarter, the second half, brother. That will be his third personal foul, first team foul. Two free throws coming up for Chapman. And Chapman, by far, has been the most active offensive player. And he rattles in the first free throw. In for the Panthers, you'll be number three, Lewis Marks. Yeah, Perry's putting on a little. A little mini run. Got it down to 10 here. And no good on the second. Brought in the rebound ahead to Hammond, left side. 33-23. Hammond, nice take underneath. Broughton gets a shot blocked. Hammond gets it back. Out to Mosley, to Robinson now, and Broughton again on the right side. Good pass, or a good idea, but it was deflected out of bounds by Prairie View as Broughton tried to get a cutting Hammond underneath the basket. Inbound to Broughton, nearly got it taken away by Briscoe, and throws up a wild shot, and now stolen back by Hammond, and he's fouled. <laughs> wow. <laughs> a lot of action right there. Because oh, Golden Lions come out the starting it's blocks here in the second half. Team. Tim Gone really over two and a half minutes, and hopefully Tevin Hammond can knock this down and be the first point of the second half. Yeah. Off the front of the iron, no good. 17-21 to go. One more here for Hammond. And makes the second. Yeah, UAPB is only shooting about 66% from the free throw line. Monks, right side, top of the key to Briscoe. Briscoe, step to the side, three, no good. Monks keeps it alive. Regis out of bounds off of Regis, I believe. So UAPB will get it back up 11. Three minutes into the second half here. 34-23. Tim, when you look at Prairie View's coach, Coach Rim, and Coach Ivory for, go, for the Golden Lions, they can have some facial expressions. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> and there are a couple of the veteran coaches now in, in yeah, the league. Yeah, they are. Haynes now right side to Broughton. Top of the key to Mosley. Mosley reverses his... Dribble and then goes left side, back doors it and lays it in with the opposite hand. Nice move, almost a steal there by Hammond. 36-23, Mosley now with 11 to lead the Golden Lions in scoring. I tell you, the Golden Lions just plays this suffocating defense. Here's Chapman, partially blocked by Haynes, and then Haynes gets it off the glass. Trying to push it ahead in transition, needs some help. Monks nearly took it from him, and Briscoe's all over him like a gnat. Hammond inside, look out. Going up for the dunk was Daniel Broughton, but he's fouled by Chapman. He'll have to earn it from the foul line. A good ball movement there. That's where you got to be strong enough to Probably take it. <laughs> he just ran it through the, through the hoop, Tim. 16.08 to go. And Broughton will try to give the Golden Lions a 14-point lead. 
And he does. Hard to believe that Broad was a senior. It seems like just a couple of years ago, he was over, he was over yeah. at Crosstown playing for the Wildcats of Watson Chapel. I was there for his signing day. It does seem just like yesterday. Mm -hmm. He was a highly, uh, highly touted player yeah, coming out. Yeah, he really was. And a lot of teams were in on Daniel coming out of Watson Chapel. He makes one of two. Inside. And no good. I maybe partially blocked there by Broughton. Here's Mosley. Look at him go. D trying to dump it off the last second. And last touch by Prairie View. Media timeout coming up right here. It'll be UAPB basketball. The Golden Lions leading with 15.50 to play in the ball game. 37-23 UAPB over Prairie View by 14 right back in a moment. How did UAPB prepare me? The agriculture program. At the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, it is very hands-on. They teach us how to use the technology and the tools of today's industry. Career Services helped me obtain two internships, and that provided me the opportunities to travel to different places like the Florida Everglades, where I practice conservation work. Opportunities like that also taught me just how many different jobs I can do with my degree. I'll be working with the USDA as a soil conservationist. That is how UAPB prepared me. Ma, what's this? It's for you to remind you where you can finally get a health insurance plan. Mom, you know I can't afford it. But for the first time, you can. You go to the healthcare.gov website, compare quality plans, and you could get help paying for it. Look, these plans will cover checkups, injuries, prescriptions. Are you ever gonna stop worrying about me? When you get covered, I will. Let your kids know about the health insurance marketplace at healthcare.gov. What's up, this is Swiss Beats. Do you know that 1,000 people ages 13 to 24 are infected with HIV every month in the U.S.? As African Americans, HIV hits us harder than any other racial group. We account for over 44% of all new HIV infections in the U.S. You can't tell by looking at somebody if they're infected. Do you know your status? Visit Act Against AIDS to find out where you can get tested for free. Get tested. Thirty-seven twenty-three. Fifteen fifty to go. Early second half. UAPB in control up by fourteen. Here on Church Community Night. Good crowd on hand here. It's been a low scoring second half so far, Tim, in the in the first four minutes. Uh UAPB's only put up four points and Pierre's only scored three, so seven points among the two teams in the first four minutes. Hammond stepped back for three, no good, as Big Brother just walked into the arena. Former football <laughs> player. Tyrone Hammond. And off the glass the other way, and Briscoe is fouled. And Briscoe's a young man. He's had six 20-plus point games this oh, season. And that's four on Broughton. You know he's coming out now. Whiting's going to check in, and that was the gamble of letting him go with three, and now you've got four on him. and He's going to sit yep. for about for a long time. He will. He probably won't come back in until about six or seven minutes left in the game, I would imagine. Now, Whiting comes in now, and that means that Devon Haynes was switched to the four position and was switched to the five, and Whiting will go to the four position. Four spot. 37 24, late at 13 after Briscoe makes one of two. Here's Mosley. Now to Haynes, driving in the lane, goes up with a right hand off the glass, no good. Chapman has the rebound. They're going to get a foul on Hammond with the reach in, I believe. <laughs> doesn't like the call. Kevin doesn't like the call. Shaking his head as he's talking to the official, but not going to change his mind. Five minutes into the second half here. UAPB led by 13 at halftime, the lead by 13 now. So they've weathered the storm to the first five minutes. Pump fake, maybe got away with a walk there, but easy two down low for Patrick. Patrick Argo. 
Ago, 6'8", 205, senior out of Houston, Texas. Yeah, preview. Yeah, quick whistle there. Or look at George Ivory. He's got the the stare down, the, the stink eye, the sour candy. He's got it all going on right now. He's got the. <laughs> but I was about to say that. Yeah, preview has some good looking athletes. Oh, they they they're very athletic, tall, lean, and rangy. Here's Hammond. Nice take. The lob. Boy, he's getting ready to to lob it to Haynes for the throwdown, but it was knocked out of bounds by Prairie View. A good idea, but no go. The fans sitting at courtside. Answering for the Panthers, number zero, Andre Adams. I guess the heart might have skipped the beat. Yeah, we had Montreal Scott had to leap over one of them and knock the popcorn out of their hand, just about. Here's Haynes, kick out. Spotting up for three, Trent Whiting, too strong. Long rebound out to midcourt, chased down by Mosley. Look out from behind, he got it picked by Scott. Now Scott on a run out. Reverse layup is good. Used his body as a defender. He did, shelled it off nicely, and it's a nine point game all of a sudden. 37 28. The goal lines will come out very sluggish here in the second half. Mosley, right side to Whiting. Whiting. And he was going to take Ago one on one there, and Ago picks up the reach in foul. Yeah, Ago's another, he's a big body. That'll be his first personal. First on Ago, fourth team foul, and a lot more fouls being called early on in the second half. And the inbound to Haynes, and nearly lost it, gets it back. His jumper is good from 15. Need that out of him. Yeah, they brought And we're going to whistle, and underneath, we got Chapman clearing out on Whiting, gets called for an offensive foul. Well, it seems like in the first half. Yeah, it's much tighter in the second half. The officials, no doubt. Him, the officials let him play. And Coach Rim didn't like that at <laughs> he all. Like he is a character anyway. Really good guy, though. Oh, yeah. he is. 39 28, 11 point lead. Kind of clear yeah. off of. Widing the kick out. Hammond spots up for three and knocks it in. Lead up to 14, matches their largest lead. 42 28. 12 50 to play. Gold Lions shooting much better from three point range tonight. I go. In and out, no good, but the foul is called underneath. Let's see if they get Whiting or Robinson. Gonna get Robinson. So two shots coming up here for Patrick Ago. First shot is good. I go now with three in the game. It's an important ball game for, for both of these ball clubs. Uh, UAPB has a conference record of seven and six, and Purdue is right behind the six and six. And six. Yeah, the Gold Lions got off to that two and five start. Yeah. You know, and since then. Went five and one. Yeah. So they're one of the hottest teams going right now in conference play. Look at Whiting trying to go all the way and flush it home, and he's fouled by Ago from behind. So he's taken Ago off the dribble a couple of times and picked up two quick fouls on him. Well, what Coach Average is doing is really playing at a, at, a, at a power point and, and isolating one on one. And he's 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 very because he's left handed. He's very effective going to the left. He's taking Daniel's spot, and so yeah. it creates a little bit of a quickness mismatch yeah. on the floor yeah. as he gets the first free throw to go. Yeah, because Trent is only about six foot, six, six four, but he, he plays like he's about six seven. One more coming up. He, he's got a long arms, long wingspan, and a pretty good leaper as well. 
out of Desert High School. A sophomore makes one of two. 43-29 UAPB. By 14, 12, 20 to go. And almost a steal for Hammond. He was ready to take off. Boy, he is so quick. Adams picked up by Mosley in the zone here. Screen from Chapman. Now Monks, Chapman, strong move, and Whiting can't believe another call, but it has definitely gotten much tighter the officiating here in the second half as we already got 12. We didn't get to the one and one, Carl, until 101 yeah. to go in the first half. Both teams are one foul away from the bonus here, eight minutes into the second half, so I'll let <laughs> yeah. you know they, they've tightened it up, and the first free throw is no good. I guess both teams went into the dressing room at halftime, made some adjustments, and the officials went I, They went and made some adjustments too, huh? I guess somebody told them that those whistles around their neck work because <laughs> they they're using them in the second half. One of two there for Prairie View. Robinson to Haynes, kicks it out, Hammond, top of the key. UAPB up 13 with the ball. Whiting needs some help back to Hammond. Robinson left side for three. Yes, sir. Giovanni Robinson is third three of the game. He's got nine all on threes. And the lead's at 16, the largest lead of the game, 46-30. So the Golden Lions haven't had that lapse thus far in this game. Nice steal, good hands. Robinson kicks it ahead, mostly. Mosley on a run out all the way and missing the layup. Whiting was trying to dunk it home after the miss, but George Ivory is not happy. They had a three-on-one break there and blew yeah. it completely. We'll step aside with the media timeout and we'll come back and we'll talk about George Ivory and <laughs> his beautiful antics on the sideline. 46-30, Golden Lions up by 16 with 11.08 to go. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything... It is I, Krug's Zinker Bell. Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. 11.08 remaining. Court side here at H.O. Clemens Arena. Tim Stubbs and Carl Wimper. Yeah, UAPB had an extra three-on-one opportunity that came up empty. At least they get the ball back, but definitely one they'd like to have back execute. Here's the inbound to Hammond. Hammond trying to... Rarely do you see Hammond post up anybody, but... Yeah. He was trying to post up Andre <laughs> Adams, and they got Adams at 5'9", and that's probably stretching it a couple inches. Yeah, you're right about that. Coach Rim wasn't happy with that, with that foul. And it's kind of hard on, on, the, on the ball club when they're trying to adjust to the officiating because, like yep. you said, in the first half, they, they let him play. One and one, and <laughs> there was a minute left in the first half before we got in one and one, so definitely a lot more fouls here in the second half. First free throw is good for Hammond. And the front end is good. The one shot remaining for Hammond. The Golden Lions have shot it well from three-point range. Seven of 17 tonight, whereas Prairie View is one of eight. The Golden Lions were five of 13 from, from beyond the arch in the first half. 
Second free throw, no good, although the Golden Lions just. It's not a good free throw shooting no. team. 10 of 19 from the foul line. But they lead by 17. That's all that matters at this point. Briscoe pull up from 15. Basically an air ball. He just got a little bit of the net, and that's it. Hammond goes down, and he's slow to get up. Gingerly jogging back the other way. That seems to be okay. Mosley still with the bounce out high. Now picks it up to Haynes. Top of the key here. Haynes wants to go off the dribble. Nice finger roll off the glass and good. Davon Haynes with the blow by and the layup. Made that look really easy. Stoppage in play here. What do we have, a turnover? Double dribble called. So, well, they're calling it tight in every fashion right now. 49-19, UAPB has opened up a 19-point lead halfway through the second half here. Yeah, and they've done it a variety of ways, too. Uh, the play more of a slow-down type offense here in the second half. They've used Tritt Whiting very effectively at the, at the power point position. Nice take by Mosley. Fakes like he's going out, and he goes back in, he scores it, and he draws Mosley. the foul. Mosley. Boy, he is a slick, slick player. <laughs> he, he really is. 51-30. Uh, the basket is good. She and a 21-point lead. I see you, Marcel. Mosley. Boy, he is slick. Got it to go. He baits you in a lot of, on a lot of these and ones and he'll he'll bait you in and then he gets you underneath the basket a block by whiting and staying with it was jenkins uh, they gave scott with the basket 52 32 all uapb nine and a half to play well prayer you get up in your grill on they will nice cut to the basket hammond with it and Haynes with the assist. Good no look pass by Haynes. Lead up to 22. And reach in and <laughs> gonna have a one and one coming up for Haygood. Well, it was a quick moving first half. The second Slow half. Slow moving. Yeah. Second so half, but it's gonna kind of offset itself. But the lead's at 22, so we're, we're okay with it. That would be a second person, 17. They got Mosley on that foul. Team foul number seven, so one and one here for Haygood. And the first one is good. The officials are having to worry with Jenkins for prayer of you. Missed the second. Savage the rebound for Pine Bluff. 21 point lead. Some pressure here. Savage for the bounce pass ahead to Hammond. They'll set it up. Boy, they are right up in your mustache, <laughs> yeah. aren't they? And they are. They get literally body to body right on you. Mosley, nice blow by with the left hand. The finger roll is good. That was too easy. Awesome. Took him to class right there and showed him something. Nicely done. 56-33, UAPB by 23. Step back three is good for Briscoe. Makes it a 20-point game. Uh, Purview is picking up kind of like man-to-man, -man, full court pressure. They've got to get some stops to get back in this ball game. Uh, mostly again, a nice take. Fake right, and his pivot foot slipped a little bit. He just has fun out there. He, he's in constant playground mode, and he has a great time on the, on the floor. He, he really loves does. to play basketball, and you can tell guys who like it and guys who love it, and he loves it. And like I said, Mosley and Hammond, the two of the top guards in this conference. Adams step back, 15-footer is good with Whiting right in his face. 
Cuts it to 18, eight minutes to go. Hammond holds it out high. Mosley, right side of the floor now to Whiting. Taking their time, Whiting wants to go one-on-one -on -one against Monks. Drives right, step back off the glass, too short, no good. And gonna get Haynes for the over the back rebound and he didn't like the call either, but yeah, it's a quick whistle here in the second half, but nevertheless, we'll step aside with a media timeout. 7.34 remaining in the ball game and it's all UAPB. They lead Prairie View 56 to 38, right back in a moment. You don't need health insurance if you have an endless supply of bubble wrap. Ooh. I'm good, no worries, hon. Not enough bubble wrap? Then you need health insurance. Find affordable, quality health plans at the Health Insurance Marketplace. Enroll now at the Health Insurance Marketplace at healthcare.gov. Did you take your medicine? Oh, gosh, I forgot. Her it. nurse. You need a claim number? Her personal assistant. Let me just grab a pen. Her housekeeper. Her cook. Her accountant. When I started taking care of mom, I didn't realize the challenge of playing so many roles. But above all, I'm still her daughter. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving to connect with experts and other caregivers. Together, we can better care for ourselves and the ones we love. All right, here we go. Welcome back. Having some phone line issues courtside. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. It's hurting our radio feed, but we're still on for TV, so we'll still do play-by-play -play here for the TV side of things. Chapman makes the first free throw as we are back. It's 7.34 to play, and UAPB leads by 17. Largest lead was 23. Was privy has a chance to cut it to 16 and Ammon or to Savage rather, and he goes up and throws it down with the right hand. Chandler Savage with sneaky hops. Yeah, Chandler's only about six foot three, but he's a leaper. Scott strong drive and loses out of bounds. You mentioned he had a big ball game in their first matchup, but they've done a nice job on him tonight. Scott for three, I woke him up. <laughs> he knocks in that three there. 15 point game, 58-43, still seven minutes to go, so go Lions can't afford to get two too relaxed here. A lot of time left this ball game. That 22 point lead's been cut down to 15. Here's Savage. Now to Mosley in the lane, needs some help. Nice little no look to Haynes off the glass and good. Briscoe for three, rims out. And UAPB balls. It was lost out of bounds by Prairie View. 626 to go. Briscoe and Scott, they can just shoot this shoot Prairie View back into the ball game zone. They are those are two outstanding shooters. Savage gets it to Mosley. Back to Savage, left side of the floor. Here's a lob for Trent Whiting. It was pushed from behind by Monks, or Whiting was about to throw it down on the alley oop. Yeah, he really was. Why they, why they can leap? And the crowd loves it too. Yeah. Number three, Lewis Monks. That'll be his first personal 19 foul. Shooting two for the Golden Lions. Number 15, Trent Whiting. 6:21 to go. 60 to 43. Whiting to the line. First shot is good. And Whitey is only a 37% free throw shooter. But it didn't look like that on the first attempt. I'm sure he probably shot much better than that in high school oh, so yeah. for whatever reason. And rims out on the next. It just, it's a good looking shot. It just 
not going down. 61-43, little jump step in the lane, a whistle and a foul. 6-13 to go, UAPB is leading by 18. There's a whole lot of fouls being called here in the second half. Ammons gets his third. One foul away from the double bonus for both teams. Mott's first shot is good. He'll get another. One more for Lewis Monk, senior from Arlington, Texas, makes both shots. Monk's now with eight points in the ball game. The previous continue to pick up full court. Try to convert some turnovers, try to get the ball back to get back in this ball game. Still a lot of time to go. Five minutes and 50, 54 seconds. Savage. Left side, Mosley. Mosley will take the three. A little too strong on that one. Adams the rebound, he'll push it ahead. Coach Jarrett didn't want that kind of shot. Step back three for Briscoe. Short gets his own rebound. Boy, he's quick, isn't he? And he's fouled underneath. <laughs> and again, Whiting can't believe it. He had all ball there, but he got the foul on. Let's see. Oh, Mosley. That's his third. Briscoe's first shot is good. Yeah, Briscoe's the kind of guy who can really shoot peer view back in this ball game. He's got seven points in the game. 5.26 to go. Sixty-one forty-seven. Here's Robinson, and he travels. Mm. Mm. A little sloppy here in the last couple minutes. Lead at fourteen. He, Robinson, excuse me, Tim. Robinson didn't know whether he wanted to pass the basketball or, or dribble it. Briscoe, nice take. Chapman, a little extra step there, gets it to go, and all of a sudden, it's a twelve-point game, and Coach Ram calls a timeout for Prairie View. Five oh seven. To go. You wonder how much longer Daniel Brogdon is going to sit on the bench. He's been sitting since, since the 15 05 mark. Five oh seven to play, sixty one forty nine. That 22, 23 point lead has been cut in half here, basically. Yeah. Sixty-one forty-nine. Five minutes to go. Pressure here by Prairie View, and nice little left-handed take in the lane. Layup is good, and one for Davon Haynes, who's come alive in the second half. He's got ten points. Yeah, Davon uh, just down inside the paint. He's he's very tough. He likes to, he's very athletic in those long arms, and 
the basket is but like we said earlier, team, I don't, I don't think he's fully recovered from that fractured hand. Well, he couldn't convert the, the free throw. 4.50 to go. Your APB leads by 14. Adams, top of the key, 15 on the shot clock. Adam Briscoe. And Monks was wanting the backdoor lob. Briscoe in the lane, needs some help, nearly loses it. Hits it back, five on the shot clock. Here's Briscoe. He turns, spins, and an air ball, and a shot clock violation. He just had to get rid of it. Good defensive pressure there by the Golden Lions there. Coach Ivers is flawed his team. 421 to go. Anytime you can hold up for 35 seconds and then they don't get a good they don't get a shot off, that's good defense. Absolutely. Robinson with the inbound to Hammond. Back to Robinson. They have numbers here. Down low to Haynes, and Haynes gets it knocked out of bounds. Coach Average really going with a small lineup. He's really got four guards on the, on the floor. Mm -hmm. They know they're going to be pressuring, and they want some more ball handlers out there. You got Hammonds at six foot, six foot seven. And that's a classic miscommunication. Robinson went left, the pass went right, right into Popcorn Alley over there. <laughs> There's Monks with the take, blocked by Haynes, and now he just takes it out of the air. He'll push it ahead himself, look out. Kick out to Robinson, now they'll hold it up, try to work some clock a little bit up by 14 with 3.45 to play. Here's Hammond. Dumps it off to Haynes, spinning in the lane, no good, and he sticks with it and lays it up and in. So three and a half to go, UAPB up by 16, still in control. Nice steal, you mentioned Savage with good defense, gets the steal, and now they'll set it up, work some clock a little bit. Great hands there. Hey, really, Savage is a very good defensive ball player. Yeah, Savage sneaks underneath and found a, a gap in that defense and Savage put in the easy bucket. Three minutes to play and another steal. Here's Mosley on the run out and the layup. Just like that, that 12 point game is 8-0 run. It's 20 point game. That's how you close it out right there. That's how you close it out. And what Coach Ivan has out there with those four guards, he's got four excellent ball hounds, four guys who are, who are very good thieves. You know, and he's really going to give Fairview all kind of kicks. Two fifty-three to play. Golden Lions have opened it back up to a huge lead again, up by 20 here, 69-49. Yeah, the Golden Lions are still in that 2-3 zone defense. And one coming up here for Scott. That's the last thing that Coach Ivory wants is. We'll have a media timeout. timeout here with 2.36 to go and UAPB leading by 18, 69-51 over Prairie View back in a moment. When you're out there, there's no telling what you'll find. I see it, I see it! Oh, look at you. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. <laughs> find yours at discovertheforest.org.
All right. I know this isn't any fun to talk about, but we should. Okay. So who's going to do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect. That's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And I'll try to get the generator going without any gas. Oh, let's not forget the cell phones, which probably won't work. Right. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. Well, I think we couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. It's 2.36 to go as we're finally back on the air. Radio-wise, the phone line went out for a good 15, 20 minutes, so we apologize for that. Some things just aren't in our control, and that's one of them. It happens way too much. But anyway, 2.36 to play. UAPB up by 18, 69-51. As Scott missed a chance for a three-point play there, missed the free throw. And after Prairie View went a little run, cut it down to 12. UAPB went on an eight-nothing spurt, pushed it back to 20, and it's at 18 right now. If the goal line is going to just Savage. Wow, the nice take, and he missed the easy one, and out of bounds off of Prairie View, but he had a nice take there, and I know he wished to have that one back. 2.06 to go. Reset the shot clock. They'll throw it deep to Hammond. Gold Lion spreading it out here. I'm going to work some clock with two minutes to play and up big. Cross court to Robinson. And they'll be content here. Haynes behind the back, kick out. Hammond for three, off the mark, no good. Rebound Chapman, push it ahead. In transition, Monks gets the layup. 69-53, 90 seconds remaining. Gonna go loud, it's gonna... Haynes! <laughs> Cocks it and rocks it. With the right hand smash. You got away with a little ton in there also. <laughs> He throws it down with fury. Yeah, a foul on the rebound, and Monk's getting tangled up with Mosley <laughs> with a big smile on his face. Uh, that was big time. Take a look at that again. Great shot underneath. Foul is called against the Panthers, number 31, Montreal Scott. Good replay as Haynes throwing it down big time, and Marcel Mosley. <laughs> that was uh, a big time dunk to him. It was. <laughs> Brandon Miner, camera operator on that dunk underneath there. 108 to go. Both free throws are good for Mosley, and he's got 20 in the game to lead all scorers. 73-53 and a timeout called by Prairie View. The goal line surprised Prairie View then. He came back with a with a full court press and there's that was Brandon on our monitor there. Unfocused Brandon. <laughs> Time out on the court. We'll keep it here. All UAPB tonight. Maybe their best overall conference game this season as far as start to finish. Yeah. Led by 13 at halftime. They lead by 20 here with 108 to go. Savage, Mosley, Haynes, Hammond, and Robinson. The lineup for UAPB right now in the final one minute here, up by 20. Monks to Haygood. Scott back to Chapman. Scored and one. Went in and out and back in again, and he got the foul. 
Coach Ivory is taking a seat. I'm sure he's pretty much pleased with this score. The basket is good. It's been a well-balanced offensive attack for the goal lines. You know, Devon Hayes, Hayes, Hayes got, Hayes has what, 14 points, Mosley 20, and Hammers rounding off the double digits with 13. Another timeout. Because Jive is going to get, <laughs> let some of his reserves get in and see some action. This, this is strictly a substitution timeout. Fifty seconds remaining. Number double zero, Sean Tingle. Number thirty, Jordan Brown. Here on the other end, Monks with the run out, easy two-handed dunk. 73-59 and reach in on Monks. And a couple of free throws coming up here. Yeah. Uh, one thing that Coach Ivory didn't like was the the sloppy ball handling there bonus, by the reserves. Jeffries. As I said before, Tim, the goal lines, they just really haven't been a, a good free throw shooting team all season. And Jeffries makes one out of two. 74 59, 40 seconds to go. UAPB in control up 15. Long three right side by Scott. No good. Floyd chases down the rebound. Now he's trapped and a timeout called with 31 seconds left. The Golden Lions leading 74 59. Yeah, Coach Rim is, you know, class X is still telling his ball club team, you know, no more fouls. But he's still coaching, though. Moving game though, we and tip off to about 740. It's 923 and it's almost over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a fast game. Of course, that first half went real fast. A wide open jumper is good, and Monks with the take on the other end. Jared Young got the wide open basket. Here's Brown, and that foul's gonna be on Robinson, and Jordan Brown to the line for two shots with 14 seconds left. Call call number 11, Hershey Robinson, his third personal. Shooting two, Jordan Brown. Yeah, once again, Jordan Brown. <laughs> One of the fans' favorites. And another miss. Well, that's about the only thing they've done bad tonight was those, miss those, free throws. Those free throws just not going in. 14 seconds left, and he missed both of them. The Golden Lions are up by 15, and they have missed a plethora of free throws. Look at Young with the steal, and they say he stepped on the sideline. Well, a good hustle by the young man. Definitely. Scott in the lane, blocked by Tingle, and Chapman gets it back. He's battling for it still. Chapman again, and that's the ball game. 76-61, the final. The Golden Lions win it by 15. 
Back in the studio. Got Jessica Patton, DJ Barnhill, Brandon Miner, William Lawson, Randy Kelly. My, this is a drained brain trying to remember everybody's names off the top of my head here after calling so many names tonight, but I think I got everybody in. Justine Patton, I think I said Jessica. Justine Patton, back in the studio. All right, well, 76, 77, 61, the final. The UAPB wins it, going away, and a solid win tonight, Carl. A, a very solid win, and, and the Golden Lions, the, you know, after that little mini losing streak there, kind of middle of the conference season, they put together a string of wins, a very impressive wins, and it's all been triggered by those guards, Marcel Moses and Tevin Hammond. So the Golden Lions now won six of their last seven conference games to move ahead to eight and six after that two and five start. So they've turned things around big time. So kudos to Coach Ivory and his ball club, definitely for that. So we say so long from H.O. Clemens Arena. The Golden Lions win it going away against Prairie View here tonight. For Carl Wimper, I'm Tim Stubbs saying so long, good night, and go Lions.